Hello everyone, welcome back to another gardening vlog. I will be planting my sweet potato slips. Now these are not um, sweet potato slips that I grew myself. They are um, slips that I purchased from Lowe's and I will be planting them today. So I have a, a storage bin and you can um, plant things in storage bins as long as it is um, food um, food grade safe so um, make sure to check underneath your containers um, they will have like a triangle symbol with a number and you can google um, what is what containers are food safe for you to plant in um, just put in the number that you see on your container and it will give you a range of numbers to let you know if your container is food safe and which mines are and also make sure that you put in drainage holes on underneath and on the sides of the containers for drainage as well so um, so as you can see here I am um, planting my sweet potato slips and they were at the point where they were about to be um, root bound. So I am taking the roots, um, gently um, unraveling the roots so that they will be able to spread um, inside the soil easily. and. Um, and I think in this container, I'm able to get maybe about um, 8 to 10 plants in here. And I don't have the soil very high at the moment. Um, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and plant in the slips and the vines. Those slips will turn into like long vines. And when the vines grow um, uh, longer or hanging over the, over the container then that's when I will come back in with maybe some topsoil um, 
so that it can ensure that the um, potatoes will grow underneath the soil and have enough room. So I'm going to get these planted in and I will show you guys how everything looks after I'm done. Alright, so I'm all done planting in my sweet potato slips and I was able to do three containers. So I was able to do this large container and this smaller container and I had two slips left over so I planted that in a bucket. So those are my potato slips. Alright, so now it's finally time for me to plant these Texas grano or grano onions out. I started these seeds back in January and um, so this is the progress. Alright so now it's time to get these onions transplanted out. And once again, these are the Texas Grano, Grano or Grano Onion, I'm not for sure <laughs> how to really pronounce it, but um, I believe it was maybe, it been maybe a few weeks to a, a month ago um, that I started the onion seeds in these um, milk carton containers. And it was quite a bit had sprouted up in this container, so um once they reached a certain height i took all of those onions and i thinned them out and i just replanted them in different containers so that they can get a little bit bigger like you see here they've gotten a little bit bigger from um that previous um video and um so i wanted them at least to get um, thick like this so that um, you know I can be able to plant them out I didn't want them to be too small or, or like shoestring thin or anything like that but, uh, to plant them out so that's what I'm going to do and uh, this is already some soil that I've already fertilized with um, blood and bone meal and it's just you know your regular um garden vegetable soil whichever um, soil you like to use and also black cow manure or some type of um compost and manure um soil so that's what i have in here and i'm just going to plant as many of them as i can in this pool here So this is how it looks when I got in and out of the container and it's a good thing that these need to be planted right away because as you can see um, those roots are starting to begin to um, do a root bound in that container so um, this you know when it gets to this stage it won't allow for the onions to um, get or gain any nutrients from the soil it's almost like it's just gonna feed on itself and it's gonna um, it's just gonna stunt and grow because the roots can't reach uh, any further to um, grow or anything so I'm gonna break these apart gently break these apart without um, damaging like the the true root of each onion plant so I will bring you guys back after I have these separated. I will get these planted in. Alright, so I have them all separated. And um, as you can see, they still have their uh, true roots. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these put um, in place. And I have um, a previous video of me planting the onions and garlic and it's just still the same um, process of 
um, you know, just pretty much. You don't want to deeply bury the onions. You do want to bury it deep enough, maybe one to two inches deep, but not um, very, very deep. So I'm just going to take this, and as you can see, my hole is just um, big enough for the root to fit in there and I'm just gonna lightly cover it with the dirt and there you go so I will bring you guys back once I get more of these planted in this pool here But I still have a few more onions I got to plant out. Alright, so I just wanted to um, show you guys the onions that I have planted in my container here. Um, <clears throat> these were from onion sets and I, I planted these back in November um, in one of my other videos I did show that I kind of loosened up the soil and I added in um, some bone meal and put a thin layer of topsoil on top but just the onion tip you want to um, make sure that the soil is stayed loose around the bulb part of your onions and this is to ensure that um, the soil won't be so compacted around the bulb that um, it doesn't give the onion bulb a chance to expand in the soil so I'm just showing you guys that I took like my little hand tiller and I just went around my whole onion patch and garlic patch with that little tiller breaking up the soil around the bulb parts of the onion you want to make sure you are very careful with doing that because you don't want to um, damage your onions well you guys I thank you so much for tuning in for another gardening video and I hope you guys enjoyed it I will be back with more gardening videos and I hope to see you guys again soon you guys stay blessed and have a very blessed and great day.